Hi everyone. In this video, we'll go through an example LP6 and LP7 in video 27 of chapter 3 and on how to set them up in LP Assistant and uh, how to solve it. Okay, so here you open LP Assistant, you get an you open a new problem, you get an untitled problem. Let's look at LP6. So LP6 has four variables in the standard form. So we need to add a regular variable and it has two constraints. So that is okay. And let's punch in the numbers. So the first equation, I get one, negative two, three, one, and six. And for the second equation, I get negative one, one, two, two over three, and four. And for the objective function, I have two, negative one, one, negative one. Okay? And this is the standard form, and uh, it's not in canonical form, and we need to introduce artificial variables. So. For the first equation, we add an artificial variable, so we get an x5. And then for the second constraint, we add another one, then we get an x6. Okay, So all these highlighted parts, and that's um, the um, artificial variable. Okay, and then now we have the system in canonical form, and these two are the basic variables. Now we go to the pivoting process. You click on pivot so stage one is to find the minimum for w this yellow line so we we'll choose a point to pivot negative five is negative look at three and the two they are both have ratio two then you just pick one let's say i pick three if i pick three then i get the second part of the tableau and now i see that the w here already has value zero so the minimum of w is actually already found but uh, the, it's not good enough to conclude and go to stage two because um we see that x6 is still in the basic variable and this is an artificial variable and we need to find one to replace it okay so um we could also see that um the coefficients here for the objective function of w still has a negative term so um and then for this equation i have the right hand side here is zero so if i pivot any point i am going to add zero to zero the value of w will not be affected okay so this is actually um not really a degeneracy okay it's just uh, um, not a redundant equation it's a degenerate case so okay so we see that this is the only positive one here I'm I am going to pivot here let's click once I click on that I get the next part of the tableau and then we see for the W here I have all zero and zero so W now this equation is actually saying zero equal to zero so we can neglect it and now we go enter in stage two to solve for z so let's look at these coefficients i see that i have a negative one okay the yellow part now i neglect the artificial variables so only this column is of interest and only this one is positive among these two so i'll click on that and then you get the final tableau okay so the detail of uh, the explanation of this is also explained in the other video okay so that's for the problem six and now let's um go to the the next problem let me um remove that i am not going to save it i am i'm going to open a new problem mm -hmm. i'll move it in here okay so um lp7 Okay, so this one has um, four variables, so I need to add another variable, and it has three constraints, so I need to add a constraint. Okay, now we can punch the number in and put in the 
and standard form. So I get 1, 2, 0, 1, 20. And then for the second one, I have 2, 1, 1, 0, and 10. Third constraint, get negative 1, 4, negative 2, 3, 40. Okay? And then for the objective function z, I get 1, 4, 3, 2, and that's 0. And now we see this is just standard form. We need to add artificial variables. So for the first equation, we add 1. And then for the second constraint, we add 1. And uh, for the third one, we add so x5, x6, x7, these are artificial variables, and this shaded part is all because we set artificial variables. Okay, so now let's click on pivot. Okay, so first stage to um, minimize um, w here. So let's pick this negative 7 here, and then we check the ratio. They're all 10, so okay, let's just pick one. You can pick any, so let's pick the one here. And then I have the second one, and then I look at, I have a negative 4, and then you need to choose between 1 and 3. They're both 0, so let me just pick 1, 1. Okay, and now something interesting happened. Look at this equation here. It's uh, basically 0 equal to 0. So this is a redundant constraint. So we will just uh, like uh, proceed, but we neglect this one. We don't look at it, okay? And then we have uh, also here nothing is negative, so the minimum of W is found, okay? So, and then, then stage two, look at how to minimize Z. You get a negative one, and there's only one positive coefficient here, that's two. And we click on that, and then we get the final part of the tableau, where these are both positive. So the z minimum is 35, and, and it's found at x1 is 5, x4 is 15. Okay? All right, so um, hope um, that helps you um, with using your LP assistant, and I'll see you next time.